Cross CLI together with LM Studio is the AI agent you have to run on your PC right now. I'm going to tell you exactly why, what it can do, and how you can install it on your PC. So keep watching until the end. Normally, you go into ChatGPT, you ask, for example, can you fix this in my Python code? But the thing is, you always have to copy, paste the code into your IDE, work it out, run it, and everything. With Prompt CLI, it works a little bit different. You ask your question, and it immediately edits the files that you got on your PC. After that, you can check it in the browser or whatever you want to do. All right, it's time to get our hands dirty, and we are going to download Allen Studio first. So let's go to allenstudio.ai and click the download button. And then we go to GitHub by Charm Bracelet, and we are going to download the Windows version of Crush CLI. So let's go into the releases. Let's click 0.2.1 and go down a bit until you see the following Windows x86 64. All right. Okay. These are the two tools you need. Okay. First of all, you can install LM Studio by clicking the executable. All right. You can just do next, next, finish, install it. I already installed it, so I'm going to cancel it. And crush, you can just extract it in your downloads folder. So now we got it there. All right, now you want to connect Crush to LM Studio. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make a JSON file and we call it .crush.json. Okay, let's go back to the website or the GitHub of Crush because there's some documentation here that shows you how you can configure LM Studio. And it is on the bottom of this page where you can have your custom providers. They say Crush supports custom provider configuration for both OpenAI compatible and Entrophic compatible APIs. All right, so we are going to use an OpenAI compatible API. So let's copy this into our text file. And the next thing we need to do is we need to change the API key because LM Studio doesn't really have an API key. So we can say anything here, anything, whatever. We put it there. And the base URL will be the URL of LM Studio. And the default, the default URL is localhost on port 1234 slash v1. And here we are going to use our model. So we're going to change this later. First of all, we're going to start LM Studio. So let's go to LM Studio. Normally you start here. You can uh, use Discover to download a model. I use Quen3 and there's a 4B model for those who do not have a really powerful computer. Um, for me, I use the 14B model. That means 14 billion parameters. And you can download it. For example, if you want this one, Oh, I already downloaded this one too. But yeah, then you see this download button and you can click it. It will download the model automatically. So you can choose it later in your server. So now we go into developer mode. Make sure this one is running. The settings I use are the following. Enable course. I don't serve on the local network, just on the local host. Now we are going to select our model. Now for me, I'll go to select Quant3 by Alibaba. 
the 14 billion parameter version I'm going to switch this one the context length a little bit more up say until 20,000 I do some GPU offload and because I got an AMD GPU I also use the flash attention option I have no idea if it's faster but it has to be a bit faster okay so I did a reload now it's time to go back to our crush JSON so we can copy this model and we go back here and we put it in the ID and I also put it in the name I'm not sure which one is like the model and which one is just the name uh, so I just put it in both of them and that works fine so we are going to save it now it's time to run crush CLI so let's go to open a command prompt we change our directory into our downloads folder we go to our crush CLI folder and there we have the crush JSON and the crush executable to make it a little bit bigger and hit enter here you see would you like to initialize I choose nope and if you press ctrl P you can switch the models here uh, somehow it says deep seek here but it, this is LM studio you can just use the Quen model so you hit enter and now you can start running a question so let's start simple um, so I'm going to ask can you make a hello.txt file with the line hello this is an example for AI ranks Now I hit enter and if we switch to LM Studio you can see that the prompt is coming in so it starts prompt processing this will take a while all right let's go back to crush CLI and as you can see it's still processing the prompt And when that one is 100% in LM Studio, it will print text on the screen. So let's go. And there we go. So you see the thinking of the Quen model. And now it's writing to my file system so it asks you like um, yeah would you give that permission to crush CLI and I'm going to allow it so it can make that file and let's see what it does okay so now we can go into our crush folder and there's our hello.txt file let's check if the text is correct and as you can see this is exactly what we've asked 